In this video, I'm gonna show you how we painted our kitchen cabinets and how you can too. It's pretty straightforward, just takes a little bit of time, effort and patience. We did this over four days over Easter. Uh, if you're organized, you probably do it over three days. Keep watching to see the process of how we did this. At the end of the video, I'm gonna share my top eight hacks on how to achieve a great finish. All right, today guys, we're gonna paint our kitchen. We're gonna go from this lovely blue to white duck quarter. Uh, we've got some soap, our laminate primer, the cabinet paint, a satin clear, a four millimeter nap roller, and paint tray, masking tape, drop sheet, 400 grit sandpaper, um, our cutting brush. We're also gonna change the handles, so we've got new handles and we've got some wood putty there to fill the old holes. putty up the holes we don't need. Just got a water-based light colored putty and we're gonna use an old butter knife. Just gonna leave that like that and then we'll be able to sand it off later. So we've finished all our prep work now. Uh, we've given it a final wash down with water and a wipe with a clean cloth. Um, now we've got all our cabinet doors sitting here. Made these little stands out of just some scrap timber and screws. We're gonna paint the inside first, flip them over, and then paint the rest of it. Um, and that should only leave a tiny indent that won't even be noticeable. So right now I'm just putting on the laminate primer. We're using Dualux's renovation range, which is a two part um, paint and I've added in the additive. Once you've got the whole surface painted, just get an unloaded roller and lay it off, uh, rolling in the same direction lightly. Final day of painting today and we're just going to add a satin clear coat over our cabinets. It should add a bit of extra protection to them. With all the hard work done, all we've got to do is put the doors and drawers back on. A quick tip is to clean out any excess paint with a sharp knife from these recesses. 
I'll just make the doors fit onto the hinges a lot easier. These are my top eight hacks to getting a great finish. Number one, prep thoroughly. I know you've probably heard it a thousand times, but a great paint job is all in the prep. Number two, change your handles. If you're painting your cabinets, chances are that your handles are dated as well. This is a quick, easy, and affordable change that'll make a big impact on the end finish. Number three, take the doors and drawers off. This does add a lot of extra work, but the end result is worth it. Number four, use paint stands or painter's pyramids. We made these simple paint stands out of some scrap wood and screws. This makes painting the doors a whole heap easier. The reason for this is you can paint all sides of the doors without waiting for them to dry. Just make sure you do the inside first and then flip them over and it'll leave a tiny pin prick you won't even be able to see. Number five, do multiple base coats. You might think you've reached the colour you wanted, but you'll be surprised how much difference another coat or two will do. Number six, use a razor or sharp knife when you're pulling up your masking tape. It'll leave a nice clean finish and won't pull the paint off the freshly painted surface. Number seven, don't rush to put the doors and drawers back on as soon as they're touch dry. I know it can be tempting to want to put them on as soon as it's dry, but chances are you're just going to damage the paint. We waited a whole week before we put ours back on. And finally, number eight, clean out the hinge recesses with a sharp knife. If you've got quick release hinges, a little bit of paint caught in the recess will make it nearly impossible to put them back on. And that's all there is for this video. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing.